Hey guys, hey, I'm here waiting to get my car looked at. And you know what? I think that's a perfect time to tell you guys about the brand new theme for the brand new month of March that we have for Rizu Kids. Welcome, good morning, happy Sunday. This month we are looking at the theme of, you want to guess, candy? No, not candy, chocolate. That's a great idea for a theme, but that's not it. It's patience. Raise your hand if you love patience. Woohoo! <laughs> Most of us love it when other people are patient, but when it comes time for us to be patient, maybe not so much, which is perfect because this week or this month, we get to learn all about patience. And are you ready for our definition? It's pretty simple. Waiting for later for what you want now. Waiting until later for what you want now. And that's hard to do. Even though we may tell other people, hey, be patient. But it's hard to wait, isn't it? We have a story about a guy that you probably haven't thought of before in the Bible. But before we tell you that story and get some help, I want to go through our memory verse for the month of March. And it comes from Psalm 27, 14. It's pretty easy. The first and the last part is wait for the Lord. Can you guys say that? Wait for the Lord. That's like four words. Wait for the Lord. If you got that, then you have like 87% of the memory verse. That's my math's off. It goes like this. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. I know you guys can get that one down. Last month was a little challenging. You ready? Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. I think I already got it down. And do you guys remember where it's from? Psalm 27, 14. Let me hear you. Most of you guys were not really saying it. You were talking. But that's okay. I'll be patient with you if you'll be patient with me. Hey, we got to dive right into our story. Nate the Logger's not here today. So I get to tell you a story with the help of Manna and Micah. Check them out. I hate waiting. You done yet? You done yet? You done yet? What's taking you so long? I know guys, waiting is super hard sometimes, isn't it? It's hard to be patient. Did you know that there's a man in the Bible who's known for being really good at waiting? Mm. No, 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 Micah, that's weighing. I don't mean weighing, I mean waiting. May I interest you in some fine tub water? Thank you. Oh, no, manna, that's waitering or waiting on people, giving them food. Those are both great, but this guy, he was known for being good at waiting, and his name is Simeon. It's probably a story in the Bible that you've never heard of. You see, from the time Simeon was a little boy, he had memorized all of these scriptures, like this one from Isaiah 9. The people who are now living in darkness will see a great light. They are now living in a very dark land, but a light will shine on them. Ever since that day, Simeon was waiting for that great light. And he knew that great light wasn't some light bulb that was going to show up. He knew that this was talking about the Savior, the Messiah, the King of Kings. It was going to be a person. He didn't know exactly when or where, but he knew his parents and his grandparents, they had all been waiting. And Simeon said he was going to wait. So that's what he did. Yes, I will wait. He waited for the Lord. And one day, God even told him, Simeon, you will not die and leave this earth before you see the promised one. And Simeon was like, oh my goodness. So he waited and he waited 
and he got older and older, but all along he knew that God was going to keep his promises. Well, there he was one day sitting in the temple where he loved to sit because he loved the Lord and he loved to worship and he loved to be holy before God. And he was sitting there when all of a sudden he saw this couple come in the door. And this couple was holding an eight day old little boy. And something inside Simeon started jumping and going off because when Simeon saw those parents and saw that little boy, he got up out of his seat. He ran over to them. I don't know how fast he ran. I hope he ran a little better than that. But he ran over to him and he said, this is the one. And actually, we can read what he said in Luke chapter 2. He said this. He picked up that little boy and he said, Lord, you are the king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people, Israel. Simeon said, this is finally the day I've been waiting for. I've gotten to see the Holy One just as God promised I would. And then Simeon put, I don't know if he put his hands on the heads of this couple. Do you know their name? Their names were Mary and Joseph. And he blessed them. And he said that this boy would give them so much joy. And he, he would also give them heartache. Because God had shown Simeon a little bit of what this boy's story would look like. And Mary and Joseph were amazed at what had happened. And Simeon that day knew that God had kept his promise and his waiting and his patience had finally paid off. But remember, when you have to wait, remember that God is with you and you can trust God no matter what because he always keeps his promises just like he did with Simeon. Hey kids, I couldn't let you get away without a little quiz time real quick, so I got three questions for you if I can remember all three of them and you gotta answer me. First, and I want to hear you shout it out real loud, unless you're somewhere where you can't shout out real loud, and just shout it out real quiet. All right, the first question is, what was the name of the patient man in our story? Hmm, that gave me give some music. That wasn't very good music. Well, his name was Simeon. Simeon, Simeon, Simeon. Okay, the next question, I may have not said it, but let's see if you're smart enough to figure it out. What was the name of the baby boy in our story? Hard one. Let's find some better music. Okay, his name was Jesus. That's right, hopefully you got that one. And the last question, which hopefully you were listening very carefully to figure out the answer to this one. How old was that baby boy whenever he entered into our story? <laughs> he was eight years old. Woo, doggies. Well, I better get back to waiting on my car. Oh, I think my number's up. All right, guys. Well, I hope this week you guys can go wait with patience and know that God is with you and he always keeps his promises and someone is going to be here next week to keep teaching us about patience, which is really hard, but it can be really amazing. All right, I'll see ya. Yeah, now do a somersault. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, okay, never mind. No. Oh, yeah. No tap. <laughs> some fine tap. All right, ready? I'm going to follow you out. Go for it. What about some salt and pepper shake Yeah, please. Huh. Lord, you will make up. Are you just reading verse two? Ow. No, I kept going. I want you to read this verse two and you don't have to talk quite so girly. You look pretty sharp, buddy. Thank you. I know, it's a good look on you. To go over that oh, this one's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No much texture. Take it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we should get that down over the nose. Oh, you still have your. Let's take your original goatee off. You lost that ages ago. Boom. Hey. Oops. Phone call.
Woo, nice job. You guys can talk too. Oh, hello. Oh, no wonder this stuff's kind of awkward to scare. Yeah, <laughs> <you> think, <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember that one. Okay, that wasn't in the store. <laughs>